Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna be giving you a cheat code for Final Cut Pro 10. I'm gonna be telling you guys 12 essential Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard shortcuts for faster and easier editing in 2020. Let's get it! So like I said, I wanna give you guys a cheat code to faster and easier editing. I wanna give you my essential top 12 Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard shortcuts that have made my processes so much faster, so much easier. First, what we're gonna do is starting in and out using the I and O on your keyboard. So when we have our clips in our browser, we can skim through here and let's say we wanna use this clip right here. We hit the I on our keyboard and it's gonna start there and we can scrub through and say we want to stop there. We hit O to end it. So that's how you do that. Now taking it to a next step further with tip number two, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize either the Q, the W, and the E. So let's say I wanted to insert this into our timeline. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the W and boom, it, inserted, it inserts it right here. Let's say we wanted to connect the edit. Well, we simply hit Q on a keyboard. It brings it right here as well. And if we want to put this clip to the end of our timeline, we come back up here and we hit the letter E and it assembles it always at the end of whatever you have going on. Next, tip number three is we're gonna utilize the M key. This is very helpful when you wanna set markers for maybe like exact locations of B-roll or overlay on a project. So let's say I'm skimming through and I wanna add another clip here. So if we simply hit the letter M on our keyboard, this is gonna mark and set a marker right here, it's purple. And let's say I wanna use that marker to put overlay we can accordingly. Now take it to a next level, we can actually hit M twice, M and M, and I'm not talking about the wrapper, literally twice, we hit M, M twice, and we can actually label it. So this this time I'm gonna name it Dog oh, Crazy B-roll. With doing so, we can actually label specific markers and what's supposed to go here because when the timeline gets filled, it can get quite overwhelming and remember everything off top. So when you do that, you'll be able to know exactly what is supposed to go at that marker point. Next, another shortcut that I feel is essential is zooming in and zooming out of the timeline. So simply, let's say my timeline's filled up and I wanna zoom out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Command and the negative key to zoom out. If we wanna zoom in, we hold down the Command. Now reversing that, if I wanna zoom in to our timeline, we hold down the Command key and the equal sign, and we can zoom in. This is a lot more easier than coming up here, selecting Zoom and zooming in. Next tip, let's say we want to turn up or turn down the volume. So what you do is you select your clip and hold down the control button and hit the negative button so you can decrease the sound one decibel at a time. Now if you want to turn things up, same thing. If you want to adjust it up, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the control key and we're going to hit the equal sign and that will increase a decibel each and every time. Next, easy peasy. This is simple, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Select your scene, we're gonna hold down Command C, and then we can insert it there. Copy paste, this is like OG shortcut. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to blade and separate them. So once we highlight our clip, we're gonna hold down Command and hit the B button. And there we go, it blades exactly where we wanna go. This saves the hassle as opposed to coming all the way here and hitting blade and doing it accordingly. Also, if you hit B on your keyboard, you can unleash the blade tool. But hitting Command B does that for you and it's a lot more easier. The next tip I'm gonna give is how to add a frame to the left, add a frame to the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the clip, the end duration, as you can see, and we're gonna simply hit comma to move a frame to the left. 
to the left, go frame by frame. Or if we wanna go to the right, we simply hit the period button on a keyboard and we could do so accordingly. This also works if we wanna work the front of a clip where we hit comma to go left, period to go right. Either or is a lot simpler than using this tool sometimes and getting the exact precise measurement. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna retime the clip we have. So to simply do this, we're gonna hold Command and hit R. And then we're gonna have this option if we wanna slow it down or we can make it faster. This is often a lot easier than coming up here to the retime menu and doing it from here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo the last action. To simply do this, we're gonna hold down Command and hit Z and it goes back and you can keep doing this no matter how long you could end up all the way to the very beginning if you wanted to the next shortcut is we're going to create a storyline this works best when you have two or more clips and you want to really differentiate what the group is all about especially if you have a lot of overlay this can help a lot when moving things so let's say i have overlay up top of this video and i want to group this together so what we're going to want to do is we're going to highlight the clips and we're going to hit, simply hit command G and it will group it all together and you can move this around accordingly as opposed to moving them one by one over which can be annoying and nobody got time for that so the next shortcut we're going to do is a freeze frame so let's say that we have our skimmer and we want to freeze it right there isn't that such an awesome dog right there so we're going to freeze frame this so once we have the skimmer where we want we're going to hold down the option key and hit f and what this is going to do is going to freeze frame it this is a game changer. The next shortcut is going to be to extend or retract and edit. And we're going to do this shortcut simply by using shift X. So let's say we have our clip right here and we want to put our skimmer here and we want the edit to go that far. So we're going to hit the end of this clip, make sure it's highlighted, place the skimmer where we want and hold down shift and hit X and then it extends it to the duration of wherever the skimmer is. Let's say we wanna bring it in to right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Shift X and it can come in as well. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and these tips and tricks and shortcuts have helped you out, please smash that like button for me. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials on this channel, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.